All right, guys, this is another voiceover video here. Um, apparently, when I recorded this, I didn't, I didn't actually record the whole uh, Green Goblin fight and most of this fight. Um, so the Green Goblin fight was pretty annoying. Um, I forgot what Abyss abilities he had, but. He had, first of all, he had 5.7 5 million health, so, so he had that, and I believe, I think it was one of those situations where every time we got a, gave him a critical hit, that he took less damage, and I think, like, he had 100% full physical resistance, full energy resistance, full armor, and anytime you hit him with a critical hit, it takes away 65% of the damage. So really, the only way you can really damage him is with damage over time. Uh, because apparently, damage over time ignores all of that. So I primarily used uh, Nick Fury uh, with his bleeds, and of course, A Gun has his SB2. And then, of course, uh, Human Torch with his uh, Incinerates. So, so, those are the main options there. Now, Punisher is a little easier. Now, this particular case, you have a, a passive weakness. And the only time that you're not weak is when you throw an SB2, I believe. Now, I still, I think I use a gun primarily for this fight, but once he died, I decided to, just like in my previous video, just do a whole team effort type of deal. Whoever kills him, kills him. But it's better than individually reviving, especially if you still got uses for the remaining team. So it's, you're better off with just doing a team revive. I still had a few of those in my inventory because I'm gonna need those single potions to revive a, a gun and only a gun when we get to the um, collector fight. So we're just doing what we can with She-Hulk. And as you guys can see, I did not um, do enough of SB2s apparently. I decided to keep doing SB1s. And of course, Punisher is annoying because every one of his specials you're going to take chip damage. So it's just... It's just one of those fights that's not very fun, but, and plus he has over 5 million health as well. So the cool thing about this is that you only have to face Green Goblin and Punisher once, and that's in Path 2. I don't think you face them at all in like Path 4 or Path 5, but those are the only two paths I haven't done yet. Of course, I probably plan on doing that Thanksgiving weekend. Haven't 100% decided yet. Because I'm already going to be taking advantage of the uh, Black Friday specials. So I'll have units. Just a matter of if I'm going to put those units back into the game on some of those uh, unit offer deals. So we'll see. Now, right there, uh, he power locked me when I got the three bars of power because his battery. So that was, again, that's just, that just another added annoying factor. And I want to say this is the. Um, I want to say this is the um, buffed up version of Punisher 99, if I'm not mistaken. I know sometimes when they have these events like Labyrinth of Legends or Realm of Legends and Abyss of Legends, I think whatever abilities they had at the time when, when that game mode was created, those abilities locked there, like case in point, um, Old Man Logan. And Labyrinth of Legends, he still has that that re regeneration that's kind of like a passive one that is, is constant throughout the whole fight. And of course, you know the the nerf the, the version of him now. He has those little passive like bleeds, and the regeneration is actually a buff. And of course, in the Abyss, he has that same ability. So, because that, that was after his rework, but before. When he was in Labyrinth of Legends, he didn't have it. Also, like Realm of Legends with um, 
Rhino with the with the charging heavy. I'm mean not charging heavy with the charging medium. Um, Black Bolt when he does his SP2, it gives him recoil damage. So it, apparently that was how it used to be back in the day before way before I played the game. So so I believe I don't think this is the nerfed up Punisher. It might be the old punisher before the rework but it's i think it really helps more offensively i don't think it changes anything from a defensive standpoint but um but yeah but doom is going to finish this fight off going to do a sb2 and it should do it here all right and again it's five million health so just a little bit more work left okay there we go so now we're going to merge over to path one, which we already did. So we're going to have Loki, Aegon, Invisible Woman, Cole Obsidian, and the Collector. So the rest of this video is going to be basically Loki. The Abyss ability he has here is that you will, it's kind of like, um, What's that note where you get power siphoned over time? I don't know what that note is called. But against Loki, if you're at zero power for like four seconds, you take uh, a chunk of energy damage. So, so the key is to try to stay as aggressive as possible. I do end up using Torch here. Because obviously it's a mystic, so he has the best chance to... It's too much health to one shot, but he can definitely take a good chunk out of his health. So as you can see, um, and I think it only affects you when you're attacking. Because as you can see, that passive power drain doesn't show up until I'm attacking. But when I'm kind of like... I guess, you have to, I guess if, it's, if you're near him... That's where it does that. So if you're yeah, if you're close to him, that's when you lose power over time. And if you're at zero bars of power for an extended period of time, that's where you take that damage. So anyway, so we're going to be slowly taking Mr. Loki down here. But really, it's not much overall to this fight as far as from a strategy standpoint. It just just like any other best fight, just take a lot of focus and repetition. So it's really no set strategy here. Just human torch, build up the smolder passives, and and try to and that'll make the incinerates last longer and be more potent. And then if, if I can get to seven incinerates and that leads to the um, uh, Nova Flames. So it looks like this particular fight, I may not be able to maximize my damage output before dying because I have 11% health. But again, this fight is not too strategic, just, just normal fighting. So really not much more to commentate on this. So I'll just um, leave you guys to the rest of this video. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll just do a little background music. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
make it clap, 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 make it clap, 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 make it clap, 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 make it clap, 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 make it clap, 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 cl